Hello YouTube, here's another video in the Fat Moto series upgrades. This time it's going to be a 2019 model a rear disc brake. And there it is right there. Now this is a 220 millimeter rotor SRAM center line this sprocket is 44 tooth now the stock fat moto is this 50 tooth right here now on the 2020 models that come with a rear disc brake um, they run a 255 millimeter which is like an inch and a half bigger than this one so they stick way out here but the difference is the caliper is mounted here but on the 19 they come with v-brakes now i've upgraded those v-brakes and they're way better than the stock but this this is an improvement here now i recommend if you're going to do this upgrade, I've got a 44 tooth on there right now, but it would be optimum to use a 42. If you use the 42, it'll give you an extra six millimeters for clearance between the chain and the caliper, between the chain and the caliper. Okay. And how I did it was uh, I bought this bracket. Now, this is an American-made bracket. This one was $12. It's made out of good metal. You can buy, I've seen them as cheap as $3.60 on eBay. But I hear that that's Chinese pot metal, and they, they crack. Also, too... This comes with a uh, about an eighth of an inch offset because this adapter is supposed to mount inside the frame, inside the dropout. But it wouldn't work on here. It rubbed against the uh, the uh, rotor bolt, and as it is, it's real tight clearance. So what I had to do was take this, put it on the cement, and hit it with a three-pound sledgehammer and straighten out that offset to where the bracket's straight again. Then I had to drill this hole through the bracket. No, the hole's there in the bracket. I had to drill the hole in the frame through the aluminum. Now it dr drills real easy because it's aluminum. And uh, once I had that hole drill, you take the wheel off. I put this bolt through. It's a 1024. I used a hex head or one of these Allen head bolts, stainless steel. And I put it through. And then right, let me see, there it is, right in there, between the frame and the bracket, is one of these stainless steel nuts. And I went and used it as a spacer and tightened down the bolt. Now my bolt is secure. So then I slipped on the bracket. Slipped it over the bolt, tightened everything up, and then used a flat washer, a lock washer, and stainless steel nut. This whole thing here was like dollar fifty stainless steel. 
Then you need to get one of these adapters. This is a post adapter. Now this one's designed for a 203 millimeter rotor. And uh, it was like $10. So then when I mounted it for a, for a spacer, I used these washers, these concave, convex washers that come with these shoe kits when you buy new shoes. You get all these washers, so always save these washers. These things are, these are great for spacers. So anyway, I needed to shift the caliper over to get alignment for the rotor. So I used two of those spacers and it was perfect. Then I had to make up about 5 six, sixteenths space here. So I used, once again, I used these parts off of these shoes. A fat one and then one of the concave washers and it was perfect. And then that gave me my uh, my mount. Okay, right now I'm waiting on a 60-inch cable. This cable's too short, so I've got this hooked up to a short short cable right now. There you go. It works. And uh, now getting back here to the uh, mounting the rotor, it's kind of dark. I don't really have the right angle. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. But these are the bolts that hold the rotor in. Well, right behind it, I use for spacers uh, five millimeter aluminum spacers, six of them, and that that gave me enough clearance for the chain and sprocket, and still cleared my frame. This whole thing is a clearance issue. Everything has to clear. And uh, that's about it. The whole thing is, a, is less than $100. I paid $39 for the SRAM centerline rotor. Paid uh, $12 for this bracket. Paid $10 for the post and a few dollars for nuts and bolts. Yeah, you're gonna need these spacers off these uh, brake shoes. I'd say go buy cheap brake shoes if you don't have them. Now this caliper is off the front. I put a hydraulic up front, so I had this, this stock caliper laying around. So the whole thing's right at $100, give or take. And um, I guess that's about it. Uh, oh, I was going to say, for you guys that have Fat Moto uh, stock calipers, mechanical stock calipers, these, uh, these brake pads. You want to get new ones? Well, they're the same as, these pads are the same as a Tektro, T-E-K-T-R-O, Tektro is the brand name. 10X are the pads. So if you buy Tektro 10X pads, that's what fits it. Took me a while to find them, get that figured out. Okay. That's about it for now. Um, if you decide to do this, this conversion, 
and you got any trouble, get a hold of me. I'll let you know how I did it, how I got it to work. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I will check with you later.